Hey everyone, so I have a new random crazy thing that I built that I want to give you for free and it's going to be right at the alley of anybody who's into weird FM glitchy, even stuff for like sound effects. I know I've got a couple of folks out there who are doing uh, sound design and Foley stuff and so this should be hours of random weird fun. So it's no surprise if you've seen other videos on my channel you know I like things that are weird and random and glitchy. So I took this very powerful highly overlooked underrated instrument in Ableton Live called DSFM and it's a part of the drum synth instruments that you can find in your browser. This little tiny instrument uses some FM synthesis to make some interesting sounds. And so I thought, hmm, what if I use my maniacal idea of taking a bunch of macros and randomizing a bunch of parameters? And so I kind of went a little crazy. So if you hit the show hide uh, devices button and we scroll over, let's double click on the actual instrument. So I know what you're gonna say, this is nuts, but here's what I did. So I took this instrument and I mapped a bunch of these parameters to a bunch of LFOs. If you're not familiar with LFOs, it stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. And basically what we can do is we can assign parameters to follow the shape of these oscillators. And so I've actually just mapped a bunch of these parameters to follow the shapes of these LFOs, but I didn't stop there. I thought, what if I just kept going? How many LFOs are too many LFOs? There aren't any rules on that. So what I did is I mapped all of the parameters on those LFOs, things like the shapes and the rates to more LFOs. And so what you get are a bunch of crazy, random, weird glitches. So let's pack all this back up. So the best way to use this instrument is just to keep hitting the random button and see what you get. <laughs> let's see what else happens. Now, I also have this tied in with some delay and reverb, which I'm sure you, you can figure out by now. And so with things pitched really high, we get some things that have a more musical tonality to them. Oh, that was a cool dive bomb. Woo! Whoa, that was weird. So we get a bunch of interesting, weird squibbles, glitches. Who knows what? So I had some fun here making some snapshots over here. If you find a combination that you like, you know, you can just hit the new button and store the uh, store all the positions. It's like taking a snapshot of all these values over here. So I made a few fun presets for you that I found myself just by hitting the random button. Storm squirrel clicker. Subway ray gun. Uh, and then a couple of other things you should know about this device. There is a really, uh, because something you've probably already figured out, right, is you're like, well, if I'm making a song, this is, seems kind of useless, right? It doesn't really have any pitch to it. Uh, and sure, maybe this is something that lends itself more to the sound effects world, but there is a way you can use this musically. So I've got a knob here that says MIDI, set me. This doesn't work until you follow the instructions I'm about to show you. I also want to call your attention to over here in the corner, if you have your uh, info view up, you can see if you hover over this bottom set of knobs, it gives you hints on what they're tied to and how they work. So if you forget all this, hover, hover over this knob, it'll, it'll talk you through it. So we have to set this to the spectral resonator. Let's go all the way over. First of all, let's turn it up. This is also going to turn the resonator on. Then let's double click on the resonator and we've got to set the MIDI from to some sort of MIDI track. So it can be any MIDI track you want. I think the easiest thing here is just to set it to take the MIDI from the track the instrument is on. And now if I crank this up to 100%, I'm going to get things that are tonal. So I can make some pretty rabid bass sounds with this now. Let's hit random now. Notice the MIDI, uh, the spectral resonator here isn't included in the randomizations. Okay, that's pretty cool. Ooh, that's cool. 
That's nice. We should probably also talk about the fact that I'm idling here. If you check check out this top meter here, I'm, my CPU usage, I'm idling at like 16%. So this is something where uh, you would probably, and you can even see if I hover over it, it says I've got some, you know, 34.7 milliseconds of latency. I got to be honest, I don't really notice it in the moment. Uh, but this is probably something where you will, would want to have a dedicated session where you're rendering these sounds and then freezing and flattening. You probably wouldn't want to throw this instrument into a set that's got you know 50 or you know 60 tracks on it i will tell you you might have to do some tuning by ear with this device if you want to fit this into a song you're already doing the tuner device on ableton live doesn't really know what to do with this thing so helps if you can tune by ear a little bit so i'm giving you this device for free if you go to mistyjones.gumroad.com there's a link below that'll take you there that'll talk to you the basics of just how to save it and how to use it and i hope you just have some fun making some weird unpredictable glitchy sounds i hope this inspires you make your own devices you see the power of randomization i love this it really sparks my creativity helps me come up with things that i wouldn't normally just dial up on my own please say hi in the comments let me know how you're doing let me know what you think of this device